All right, guys, I'm gonna kind of explain my wiring. So, uh, you have this harness comes in, is your main power harness that plugs into the ECU. So I'll do this first. That's uh, the main power. These are the plugs for the ECU. This is this one. Okay, and now this has the flying leads, is what we're gonna call them a couple extra wires this is switched 12 volt and ground because it is red with a white strap okay and then you have these three wires that come in with it as well this is fuel pump trigger relay or I, it's what's going to trigger my relay for the fuel pump excuse me the blue is the tack signal uh and then the red is 12 volt battery so 12 volt constant okay now that's all the ecu wiring coming in and then we also have this harness which is the transmission harness so this will plug in has a fuse um, and a relay built onto it this is all going to be tucked in down in here underneath the dash um, now this harness has a flying lead coming off of it as well is so you have switch power ground constant battery and this is the brake signal switch for the transmission okay so we have them and then we also if we dig around in there i didn't have it pulled out yet uh oh man i did this the wrong way oh no i hadn't plugged it in yet to the power tap uh anyways this is uh the signal that needs to be plugged in from the alternator to the power tap. I got a current performance power tap part number. It doesn't have it on there. Sorry, but this is the, the deal you get from current performance or Holly. Uh, Holly didn't have it in stock, but uh, anyways, so all this will be connected to the thing that I'm going to show you here in just a second. Uh, I went to a leash and got a power distribution block. I'm not gonna call it a module cause it's not that fancy, but it does have an ignition relay. Um, so you get a keyed 12 volts, a constant battery voltage and a negative output as well. So that is pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna tie it in with a Stinger four channel, uh, not an amplifier, <laughs> a uh, solid state relay. Theirs is about half the price. And uh, hang on just a second. All right, I realize I'm just talking and, and not even looking at the camera. I was just showing y'all the glove box basically. But so when we get all this wiring in here, like I said, I have the leash deal. Um, I have the solid state relay from Stinger. And then I have uh, just some 12 volt distribution blocks. Uh, we use them at work. I use them for lights. Uh, yeah, all different things, but it just has uh, has 12 different individual channels. You can tie a wire on and then jump onto it on the other side. So it makes it really nice for the, uh, man, I forgot, I can show you that too, the uh, outputs for the inputs and outputs on the IO harness. So I don't have it plugged in yet or I would show y'all, but uh, let me get that because that is on the diagram. So we'll uh, walk over here here to the old harness this plugs into the holly and gives you your inputs and outputs so i have all these labeled on my diagram so it works out really nice and neat super easy uh yeah that's it basically um we'll jump over to this diagram and i want to kind of explain you know, I don't know, it took me a long time to figure out why everybody says plan ahead, plan ahead, you know, plan for extra wires that you don't expect, extra relays, leave yourself room, yada, yada. But all in the same aspect, you want it to look as neat as possible. So I have taken a lot of time, I've counted my wires, what's coming in and out, and I plan on using uh, weather pack connectors, which is what Holly uses, and uh, I kind of have available to me. So 
that's why we're gonna we're gonna pin everything and when i say pin everything out i mean i'm gonna make this whole board is what i'm gonna call it the whole the holly the leaf steel everything will have a plug and that can be unplugged and removed from the truck just to make it simple and honestly all the work can be done on a bench and literally i can walk over here mount it all on the truck plug it in and go and be done that's how simple it is now there is some wiring that'll have to be done to make that happen i understand that like the flying leads in the truck will have to have pins and plugs put on them but if i have a schematic that lays everything out and shows where everything's going makes it pretty easy so uh like i said just take your time and now i went full nerd on this deal i've never done it to this uh to this serious of a level i guess but uh you know i really want this to be nice this is my driver this is uh I, i've worked on a ton of stuff in my last few years and i've partnered on cars uh you know i guess money's not been right or the situation more more than anything hadn't been right uh i lost my main truck that meant the most to me so it's kind of taken me a while to find something but i really am enjoying this truck and i'm saying it's my son's and i, I believe that's why you know but i'm putting the tip top in it man I'm, I'm not gonna do anything less so i'm super excited and like i said we'll jump over and explain some of this wiring uh this might be boring to some people man i go full nerd on this stuff i, I get into it i like it so anybody that does like it you know like and comment on it maybe uh do some more later on all right doing some more planning here as you can tell i made a life-size schematic everything on here is proportioned i got the measurements online I have a distribution block uh this is the stinger uh, solid state relay and i even had the ecu um i was just planning everything out kind of getting my head wrapped around everything this looks like a lot but uh the uh, dashed lines the ones that have spaces are multiple wires um you know i should be able to zip tie all this up nice and neat and it looked good so uh this page is 13 by 9. so this is the ecu the solid state relay a distribution block and the big dog 3 uh pdm or it's the leash electronics uh distribution center it has an ignition relay built in so you have ground outputs ignition outputs and battery outputs which is great for the holly harness i believe uh, so my plans are uh, these are the flying leads coming in on the harness so this would be what is coming off of the harness that has to be plugged in so my plans are is to make this whole board right here uh completely removable so i will put a plug here a plug here and a plug here and also a plug for my alternator wire that gets switched or ignition voltage to excite the alternator um also on this right here this is ignition coming in battery and ground uh, that will come off my firewall leads and from under the dash uh, my ignition source and this is what actually powers the ignition relay to give this circuit switch power um, i will put a plug on this as well i'm pretty sure i'm going to have a plug with three bigger gauge wires and that's going to be my power supply to the board um, you come over here and i have four wires going out and that's my triggered wires for the fuel pump the trans cooler fan the radiator fan and an intercooler fan so i'll have a four wire plug here so sorry i'll get my finger out of the way but uh that way i can just add another plug and go out from there to all the accessories so this is uh i'm trying to i've never planned this far ahead um it really makes it kind of nice i know where everything's at um i will have two wires that come in if i use them and that'll be the uh brake switch which is this little circuit right here i'll have to tag on and go to the brake switch so more than likely if i do that i will put a plug on that wire to where i can unplug it 
and also the uh, tack signal. If you want to tack like an old school tack, which I probably won't have, uh, but it is possible. So if I do do that, this one right here, I will put a plug on it. But like I said, I'm trying to make this entire thing removable. And this is actual life size. Uh, I've done, done all the measurements, like I said, got them from online and just kind of laid it out how it's gonna be. So I even color coded it, boy, I got fancy. All right, so this is how I got like my inputs and outputs. Um, and then I also went through, this is on Holly's website on the instructions and got what, what wires will be coming off the harness. So you'd have 12 volt switch, battery, uh, fuel pump, chassis ground and tack output. And it tells you colors and whatnot. That's how I knew what everything would be. And then you come down here to your transmission harness. These would be the wires coming off of it, which these are all plugs. Brake light switch, gray. You'd have a ground, uh, a battery, 12 volts, and a switch power, which is red and white. Which on my the thing that was switched to pink, it should be red and white, but I, it helps me differentiate it a little bit easier. So, all right guys. I'm building my board. So this is the ECU. This is the solid state relay. This is the big dog three. And just a distribution block. So here it is. It's physically the same size as my diagram. So I have all my tools laid out. I have a little cheap kit from Amazon, some plugs, a few odds and ends drill and then another set of plugs them are weather pack these are just a generic metro pack type style so but i'm gonna get to wiring everything i should be able to have everything wired here plug out here one two three plugs here and i had an alternator wire here but i forgot that that harness actually plugs into the power tap so i don't have to have that ran up but anyways, you see it here, I have it mounted. Technically, it'll be just like this. That is what I'm building right here. So I'm gonna get to it. I'll kind of show y'all along the way. One thing real quick I'd like to point out. I have all these wires going out. So on my board, I'm gonna drill a hole. I'm about to make it quite a bit bigger with a step bit. I'm going to run all these wires through that hole and the plug-in will be on the back side. So it really cleans up the board on the front side. So that is the plan. All right. So I have my four wires going out. And yes, I did label one like an idiot. I'm, I'm going to label them all on the other side. Here's my four wires going out to this plug. So I have four wires coming out into one junction. And I have four individual wires and I have them all labeled, the fancy label maker. And then going to put four individual, because there are four individual outputs basically for fuel pump, fans, radiator fans, intercooler fans, and transmission cooler fans. So that's the deal. I want them all individual so I can unplug them at one at a time or whatever. I was gonna put one big plug, but I feel like it'd be better with individuals so that's that step well here is the physical board that i've been telling you about got everything in that's the big dog three right there sorry that is the distribution block this does have a fancy cover that goes over it as well but uh you know i'll, I'll have fuses in here for whatever i use but man this leash board is super nice yeah. All right, so you have ignition, ground, and a battery on this side. And uh, I mean, that gives you everything. It gives you the ground outputs, battery outputs, and ignition outputs. So I'm gonna tie in all of my, the inputs and out outputs, the IO harness from Holly will be here. And then a few scragglers like the tack and uh, the brake uh, stuff. So, anyways. All right, guys, here I am again. 
There it is. Everything's wired for the whole truck. I did, I came in here. Uh, these wires were coming in here and here, but instead they came in right here. Just made it a lot cleaner wiring wise. Uh, the power that was coming in actually came in over here. So that's ignition down battery. Uh, and then my inputs and outputs are all right here. So worked out great. I have the, the TCC switch and then the, uh, what is the blue one? The, uh, the tap. I have that wire out. And so all this wiring, needless to say, comes out of the back. I'm gonna show you this, because I have four outputs right here. And they're all individual plugs, okay? Individuals, and they're individuals so they can go to each accessory. And then I have all my, my main power, everything, so. Like I said, guys, planning is everything. There's my two connectors. I ordered these from customconnectorkits.com. Uh, I like weather pack. That's what I have available to me. I had one four pin that's from the trans that is battery switched. The uh, TCC, the brake switch ground. Then that is battery switch 12 volt ground fuel pump and tack output so these are just these are what's going to be on my flying leads that come out of here on the back that i still have open uh, so this is the uh the ecu the flying leads off the ecu and this is the flying lead off of the trans harness and I cut about half the wire from the actual Holly harness so I could use it on this panel. And uh, you know, it worked out real good. So that's the deal with that. I've also been thinking, I believe I'm, I might put an extra couple relays here since I have an extra area and I could use them for whatever, you know, just have a couple basically outputs, 12 volt or ground, whatever I need and have them ready to go for later on. Well, here's the finished product. I did end up in, adding a relay up top, as you can see. Uh, I wasn't thinking I'm going to have a 12-volt intercooler pump that I really need to uh, have powered by the Holly, and I had one available output left uh, because I ran the fuel pump through that four-channel deal, but I still have an output from the Holly that's open. So I can just trigger that relay with that output and... Uh, I'll be able to do whatever I want, either turn it on with ignition or, you know, when it sees RPM or, you know, I might even get fancy and try and do like a therm resistor type deal where it has to see temperature. Uh, I'm not sure. But anyways, this is my project thus far and there'll probably be a second part to this.